Grand Prix Insights is presented by Allianz. Welcome to the Valencia Street Circuit, hosting the Grand Prix of Europe for the third consecutive year. Once the race has started, usually it is pretty much up to the driver to achieve the result. But that's only half the truth. The engineers always have an eye on the car's performance. More than 100 sensors deliver real-time telemetry data, such as engine temperature, oil pressure, fuel consumption, or even tire pressures. More than one gigabyte of data is generated during a Formula One race. Via team radio, the driver receives instructions or important information, such as position, lap time of the competitors. How to react to this information, however, is again the driver's responsibility, as telemetry is only permitted from the car to the garage, but not the other way around. So the engineers cannot directly manipulate the car while it's running on the circuit. Nico, how do you feel about this fancy circuit? Valencia is a bit different to other street circuits. It's wider, there are more uh, runoff areas, so it's more safe. Um, the Harbour Bridge need to be mentioned. It's a great experience to go over the bridge and then go into the back straight. Um, it's a great circuit, really. Great, too, is the backdrop all around Valencia's harbour. The first third of the circuit is full of corners and can get really tight. Then comes the approach to the harbour bridge. In the middle of the swing bridge is a small joint. Not really a problem, but not the norm all the same. And just one of the perils that racing on a street circuit can sometimes involve. When you have a street circuit, the, the important thing to know is that you don't normally have racing cars driving around it all the time. Uh, and also, worse than that, you have trucks and cars and things driving over the circuit every day and they are dripping oil and contaminants all over the surface. It's especially tricky here in Turn 12, where drivers break down late from over 300 kilometers per hour to attack their rival. Large runoff zones ensure their safety. Then, after another 12 corners and just under 1 minute 40, it's around the final hairpin bend and off onto the next lap. Another very nice street circuit. Well, good luck and try not to hit the walls. Grand Prix Insights was presented by Allianz.